What a great game and a good performance by Michigan. Any which way this game ends. They are playing Indiana right now. It is 62-61. to 61. Indiana has the lead after Michigan had like a good 20-minute run with the lead. Couldn't capitalize and stretch that lead. And we'll go through all of the breakdowns coming up. Here we go. Indiana drives. It's up off the glass. Michigan rebounds. 50 seconds left in this game. Michigan is down one point. Doug McDaniel at the point with the ball. Dickinson running around looking for someone to screen. Jet Howard with a ball. Ah, oh, he bricked it. it was, that was just an awful play there. There's been a few of those for Michigan and too many turnovers. But let's see, 28 seconds remains. Indiana is milking this clock. There's an eight-second differential between the game clock and shot clock. Trace Jackson Davis, who has been great all game, backs down Hunter Dickinson, and Hunter Dickinson fouled. He reached in there. Just another dumb move, as Robbie Hummel is saying right now. Man, Michigan has lost five games by five points or fewer this season. Two against ranked teams. Will this be their sixth? And it just goes back to the coaching. I did see a few set plays out of timeouts. They missed the front end. Okay, there's eight seconds left, and Michigan calls a timeout. Will this be a game winner for Michigan? Wow, <laughs> what an epic game this has been. Indiana, it's a must win. Michigan has barely any quad one wins. This would be huge for their uh, tournament resume. And that's exactly what they need because they're 14 and 10. Um... They are in second place as of right now in the Big Ten. You know, way behind Purdue, just like everybody else. But come on, we need this one as my internet is skipping and delaying this whole thing for me. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> it's back on. So Michigan started off slow in the first half. They started off slow in the second half. They started to miss some free throws down the stretch. Didn't make any threes really in the second half. I don't think any. Uh, well, one. And uh, they just going to let this one slip away, or can they get a game winning shot here? I hope this game doesn't go into overtime. We have the duel at the D in hockey, Michigan uh, hockey tonight versus Michigan State. Last night we won at their house. Three to two, and it was a slugfest there. Let's keep this winning streak going. Come on. Michigan is inbounding the ball at the top of the key. Buckin has it. Almost travels. Throws it out. Jet has to throw up a prayer. Horrible shot. Looked like uh, uh, Baker might have flipped it up and in, but it was too late. The shot, uh, the game clock expired. So there you have it. Michigan season in basketball is done. It's just done. And uh, these are the reasons why. Uh, Dickinson, uh, Dickinson is, was, is energetic at times, but then he got a couple of fouls early. Um, with 12 minutes and 8 seconds left in the first half. Uh, Michigan had the 7-point lead there at that point, and he went out and traced Jackson Davis, <laughs> went to town. He had 9 points early, 9 of their uh, Indiana's 11, so Dickinson was needed. Uh, and a couple of stupid fouls there at the end as well by Dickinson. Um, luckily, they missed that free throw to give us a chance at the end. But, man, this is a downer here. 
I'm gonna go watch some hockey and hopefully lift my spirits here at the end. But Terrace Reed uh, had some good plays uh, in replacement of Dickinson. He had a couple layups and it was just a back and forth game down the stretch. <laughs> Jackson Davis had so many layups, it was unreal. And uh, Indiana led by one uh, with two minutes left in the game, and that's when I just came on and showed you uh, what happened. But what, what, how do you, where do you go from here? They're fighting hard. Uh, there were set plays out of timeouts that I saw. Um, uh, Buffkin had a couple nice layups off this one play. It was deja vu back to back. And why, you know, I was asking for more set plays out of the timeouts, but uh, more so, Indiana had the better plays out of uh, timeouts. And so that it comes down to coaching. The players are doing everything they possibly can to win this game. They shot well uh, in the first half. Michigan shot 52%, only had four turnovers, and uh, they had made four three-pointers. In the second half, it was worse in every category. Uh, Buffkin had 14, Jet had nine, Hunter had seven in the first half. And they kind of didn't uh, do their part in the second half. Uh, meanwhile, Trace Jackson Davis had 16, and Shafino had 10, and they came on strong in the second half. So feed the hot hand, make your free throws, don't turn it over. Michigan just came up a little bit short in all them categories. So there you have it. <laughs> Reaction to a, a bitter loss at home. Now it's on to Wisconsin in Madison and we'll you know, hopefully the players can get back up after this loss uh, not do what they did after the Purdue loss where they were so close and go out and lay an egg you know you can still win the Big Ten tournament but you have to win these games these five point <laughs> games and uh, for that to happen and again gain confidence keep gaining confidence and the coach needs to keep learning as well. So there you have it, my reaction to the loss. <sighs> Sad, but on to hockey. <laughs> Go blue, everybody.